Capricorn, welcome to your very first tarot scope for September 2018. I'm very excited. I'm going to focus on you. I'm going to focus on the energy of Capricorn and we'll see what comes up. First card, Ten of Swords. There has been a feeling, you're leaving August, feeling maybe a little bit uh, pressurised or you felt that somebody was taking advantage of your good nature. This possibly could be a work connection. If it's a love connection, you're like, goodbye, sayonara, farewell. Um, they've pushed you too far. If it's a work connection, you're like, ah, you know, I'm going to have to learn to be strong and say no. And you're finding your feet. You've pulled the strength card here. But definitely there's been a shifty, dodgy energy around you and you're like, oh, you know, I'm not taking it anymore. There's been a lot of upheaval. There may, to be honest with you, there might still be a tiny bit of upheaval or even a big bit of upheaval in the first few days of September. It's like the end of that big earthquake and hurricane you've been feeling around someone. But then you come into your power. But, you, you know, you know if you can't trust someone. If you've been giving your trust to someone and you've sensed that you can't trust them, you're going to have to have a little word with yourself and say right I'm gonna to have to take responsibility for that you know and, and step into September going I am going to use my super psychic skills as the high priestess to navigate situations with people when who I give my information and trust to and then you'll move on you'll move forward and it's like the arrows are, are pushing you onwards and you're laying new foundations and they're strong foundations they're real foundations so you're feeling much happier as September goes along you're feeling in control you're feeling that you're going after what you want and actually you're putting your boundaries up because there's someone that you feel that you couldn't trust or may have let you down in August or this year at some point that comes in all charming like the king of cups like oh yes butter wouldn't melt in my mouth i'm the king of cups no you know better if you feel someone's just trying to charm you no y you've moved on you're the page of wands you're like yes nope sorry going on a new adventure finding new people to mix with who are not gonna let me down because i am strong like goat because i am capricorn anyway there's also a new work opportunity for you you know it might be hard initially because actually what people don't realize about you is you are a little bit shyer than you make out um so you can feel when you're in a new situation even if you look really powerful in that situation you can feel a bit like the hermit and overwhelmed but you know you're going to smash it you're going to do it you're going to stand your ground and you know you're moving on yeah i mean you know it's difficult when we have to deal with people that are untrustworthy because fundamentally if you're a good person you assume other people are going to be good but by releasing that you know and reclaiming your power you know it's going to feel mighty fine and you're going on a fresh journey the chariot is leading you onwards but the funny thing about the chariot is that chariot notice it hasn't got any reins you know for this chariot to go forward your mind has to be in, in alliance that's wrong what is that word kathy um you know both sides of your mind have to be together in the positive aligned, aligned. Blimey, I'm so like Hilda Ogden. Who's that? I don't know. I'm showing my age. Anyway, then you have the star, which is what you're heading towards. You know, healing, inspiration and movement. And you did have the tower. What do I always say? What follows the tower? The star. Healing, inspiration and all that you desire, more or less. Anyway, I hope you found that useful. I send you so much love. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.